Big Sean is dropping Hall of Fame on August 27th, his second studio album. But from Good Music's Cruel Summer to the Detroit mixtape, this isn't Sean becoming finally famous. It just happens to be music that's poised to be the biggest jump of his career. Here's five things you need to know about Big Sean Hall of Fame. At number five, he took his time. We didn't get as much time as we did his time. Um, and at first we were rushing. We were gonna put it out months and months ago, but you know, my first one, I wasn't all the way satisfied with it because it was in the process of me finding myself as an artist. Like, I was just starting to get comfortable. Number four, he brought his friends old and new. Details about collaborations for this album have been slowly leaking out at a listening party in New York City. Sean previewed a few tracks like the Ode to Mothers He'd Like to Forget with Nicki Minaj and Juicy J, or the EDM vibe of You Don't Know that features Ellie Goulding, which he called electronic, mixed with some black street. Big Sean may have found happiness with Glee's Naya Rivera, but a lot of this album deals with Sean's heartbreak. Hmm, the song Ashley featuring Miguel is dedicated to an ex-girlfriend. I don't know how I feel about that. No. Sorry, Naya. And he also digs up the past on tracks like Beware and World Ablaze. Number two, Miley Cyrus is his BFF. Mm, maybe not. But she definitely shows up and strips down for his video for Fire. Miley, who recently broke all kinds of records with her own We Can't Stop music video, uses the same Cyrus charm and other assets to make the video for Fire way hotter. Also, the song is pretty smoking, so that doesn't And hurt. so is her body. There is at least one person who has heard Hall of Fame. Big Sean recently made a house call to a wheelchair-bound teenage fan in Staten Island and played the whole album for him. That's so sweet. His reaction? Better than Jesus, better than Magna Carta, Holy Grail, and blows away, Born Sinner. You heard that. Those are five things you need to know about Hall of Fame. But what are you most excited about for the new album? Leave a comment below and let us know.